Hey guys, it's Chela Night Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome back to Inktober 2017. This is the video for day 10 to day 12. Again, I am uploading it a day late. Alright, no, two days late. Lol. I still haven't gotten around to fixing my life. <laughs> and actually, this, these drawings were all made in one day because I was three days late at the time and I just sort of said, I need to get it done, let's just do it, and then I was supposed to edit the video the next day or at least the same day, I didn't get around to doing that. I came home late on Friday because like the traffic was so bad, it was raining pretty hard, and I got home, it's already like 9 o'clock-ish, and I just went straight to sleep. And it's now Saturday, so I'm officially two days behind on the video. Woo! I'm slowly getting better. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I'll be on time tomorrow, or like, I don't know. We'll see what will happen to me. <laughs> but, yeah, Inktober. <laughs> well, um, aside from cramming all of this in one day, I actually do like how the day 10 and 11 pictures turned out. So, for day 10, the theme was run. And apparently, I made the mistake. Day 10 shouldn't be run, it should have been gigantic. But I read the prompt list wrong and I actually skipped, ac accidentally skipped day 10. So day 10 was supposed to be gigantic. So I guess for day 13, I'll make it gigantic and then continue on the normal, on the proper order. Meh. <laughs> but run. Um, last year, day 1 of Inktober was also themed run, or I think it was Swift. Wait. Huh, let me check actually. But it had to do with running also. So it's pretty funny. Like, I had to think of a different way to present running without. Oh, it was fast. Day one was fast. And I just happened to draw someone running. But yeah, in last year's October, I drew someone running for day one. So for running, actual running, I had to think of a different way to present it. And it ended up with this. Like, I don't know, that's just pretty fun. Um, I would use the person running and I wanted to make this like lines that would indicate that he's going pretty fast. And then I chose like really hot or warm colors. So that's like yellows, oranges, and reds to create a lot of more, a lot more action and heat to the piece. And I would balance that out a little with this like grayish color for his pants. And then I would include a little bit of black to balance out all the white space and as well as the color on the piece itself and that would provide a lot of contrast. Other than that I had I actually had fun with the run and I actually do like how it turned out. The the foreshortening on the other arm looks a little bit weird but hey I'm still learning I guess. But I actually do like how this one turned out. So how are your Inktobers coming along? Um as you can see I am somewhat failing keeping up with the everyday thing. I hope you guys are doing better. And I hope you guys started. Um, it's not too late to jump into it. You don't need to complete the entire 30 days. Just, just like, just do it. It's fun. It's fun. It's just like a hassle when you have a job to do. And then it takes like two hours going to work and another two hours coming back and you're like, bleh, when the time you get home. <sighs> okay. For day 11, the theme was shattered. And... I, I had a couple of ideas. I wanted to do like shattered glass, shattered, a shattered person maybe. And the idea I went with in the end was, um, a shattered sword. Just because I I really like drawing swords and fantasy is somewhat my genre, um, so I ended up doing that. I also wanted to draw this facial expression for no particular particular reason. Haha. <laughs> So, so Shattered, not sorry, Shattered was done pretty quickly. It was probably one of the faster drawings I've done for Inktober. And I know it's just day 11, but man, I'm starting to wear down. Uh, last year when I did Inktober 2016, I had a lot of time since I was unemployed. I kind of was newly graduated, so I was just resting at home, trying not to burn myself out from like having to study for, from college for six years. By my own choice, of course, but... Uh, I needed a break. I didn't have any. I didn't have any summers in college because I was just. Um, how do I put this? 
in order to free up a couple more subjects in my regular semesters, I decided to take summer classes to advance said subjects. But that also meant I had no summers at all. For the two courses I took, I was either catching up for my second course or I was advancing stuff for my first course. So I had no summers and I decided after I graduated, I wanted to rest for a couple of months. I wouldn't last a year because I'm a bit of a busy body and I'm an extrovert so I like going out and talking to people every now and then. Mm-hmm. So not having any form of interaction with anyone that isn't my family was the, was a little bit, um, like it, it, I felt caged. But that was also the time I started Inktober last year because like I had nothing to do except, I don't know, occasionally apply to jobs and play games. But this year, I do have a job now. And I love my job, but it's taking up so much time. I couldn't do Inktober anytime I wanted in a day. I had to do it and I have to come home from work. Or in the case of the past couple of days, I have to do it on Saturday or Sunday. Or it just means I really need to learn how to schedule myself a lot more. Like normal, my normal videos, I'm capable of doing it after work since I can cut it up into chunks and record it every day or do one big recording on a Saturday, but since this is a daily challenge, I can't really do that. So by the end of that day of cramming all these Inktober pieces for day 12, I was already sort of exhausted. So I thought, oh hey, let's do a, let's do a Faber Castle Pit Artist Pen piece. That's gonna be pretty simple. Theming, what's theming? Oh, like you, you can theme tea, I guess, or chocolate. I don't know, I was very out of it at this point. So I just drew a mug that is steaming with chocolate and warm, hot chocolate. I don't know. I was, don't ask me what happened. I don't even know myself. So it was like really quick, kind of stupid looking, but meh, you have those days. So I hope you guys are doing well in Inktober. Like this video if you know you feel my struggle. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Debian, or even subscribe here. And I'll see you around.